Machete Kills. Kills. Machete Kills is a 2013 American action exploitation film co-written and directed by Robert Rodriguez. Based on the eponymous character from the Spy Kids franchise, it is a sequel to Machete, the third film based on a grindhouse fake trailer. Danny Trejo, Michelle Rodriguez, Tom Savini, Electra, and Elisa Velen, Felix Sabates, and Jessica Alba reprise their roles from the first film, and are joined by series newcomers Mel Gibson, Damien Bichir, Amber Heard, Sofia Vergara, Lady Gaga, Antonio Banderas, Cuba Gooding Jr. The film follows the titular ex-federal Trejo, as he is recruited by the U.S. President Sheen to stop an arms dealer Gibson and a revolutionary Bichir. The film was released on October 11, 2013, failing to recoup its budget of $20 million and received mixed reviews. Critics cited the overuse of plot points, poorly produced CGI, and the out-of-place science fiction elements. Plot Machete Cortez and Agent Sartana Rivera attempt to arrest corrupt military members involved in a weapons deal with a Mexican drug cartel group. The gangsters wipe out the military team, but they in turn are wiped by another party of masked men headed by a luchador masked leader who kills Sartana. Machete is arrested and hanged by corrupt Sheriff Dokes and Deputy Cliborne. However, he survives the hanging and the officers receive a call from the U.S. President Rathcock. At the White House, Rathcock offers to wipe Machete's criminal record and grant him citizenship if he can confirm a threat from Marcos Mendez, a psychopath who wants to fire a nuclear missile at Washington, D.C., if the American government does not stop the cartels and the corrupt Mexican government. Machete travels to San Antonio, where he meets Handler and beauty contestant Blanca Vasquez. At Acapulco he looks for Cereza, who can lead him to Mendez, but is attacked by brothel Madame Distamona, who is Cereza's mother. As Mendez's beloved virgin, Cereza warns Machetes about Mendez's split personality. As they travel to Mendez's headquarters, Mendez's enforcer Zara receives a call from Mendez and shoots Cereza. Machete learns that Mendez has wired the missile's launch device to his own heart so that if he dies, the missile fires. Mendez kills the device's designer and activates its 24-hour timer. Killing Zara along the way, Machete intends to escort Mendez to the U.S. and find a way to disarm the missile. Mendez shares that he is a self-proclaimed secret agent who tried to expose his corrupt superiors, only to be betrayed and forced to watch his wife and family being tortured and killed. As they head to the border, a hit is put on Machete, and the two are targeted by multiple assailants, including Distamona and her prostitute assassins, a shape-shifting hitman called L Slash Lancamalan, Dokes and Cliborne, and various locals. Machete and Mendez evade the assailants, only to be caught by a reborn Zara and the masked mercenaries who killed Sartana. Zara decapitates Mendez, and Machete is riddled with bullets. Machete wakes up to find himself in a healing tank. He meets businessman and weapons inventor Luther Vaz, who has kept Mendez's beating heart preserved in a jar. Vaz shares his plan to manipulate extremists throughout the world to fire nuclear weapons at each other, to escape to an orbiting space station to rebuild society in space, and to have Machete succeed Zara as a prototype for his army of cloned enforcers. Machete escapes the facility, meeting up with his old comrade Luz, who then refers him to Osiris, a former enemy who has since joined Luz's network and could possibly disarm the device. Machete contacts Vasquez to update her on progress, but is betrayed and ambushed at their meeting since Vasquez has sided with Vaz. Machete follows her to the desert by jumping on her vehicle's rooftop, but is thrown off. Machete gets a ride from El Camelin, who tries to kill him one last time, but he escapes, leaving El Camelin to be killed by a racist group of rednecks on border patrol. Machete and Luz's network infiltrate a fundraiser at Vaz's base of operations, but Vaz shoots the jar and kills Osiris. 
Machete realizes Vaz was the masked man who killed Sartana and fights him. He severely burns Vaz's face, forcing him to retreat and don a metallic silver mask. Meanwhile, Vasquez shoots Luz in her good eye, completely blinding her. Luz fights and kills Vasquez, but she in turn is frozen in carbonite and captured by Vaz. While Vaz and his group depart to space, Machete jumps on Mendez's missile as it launches, disarming it in midair and sending it into the Rio Grande. Rathcock's forces retrieve Machete. He tells him that the other missiles have been disarmed. Learning that Vaz is in space, Rathcock then asks Machete to follow them there on a SpaceX rocket. Framing the beginning and end of the film are trailers that promote Machete kills again in space. Cast Jessica Alba reprises her role as Sartana Rivera in an uncredited cameo appearance. Tom Savini reprises his role as Osiris Amanpour, an assassin who has since become a priest, joining Luz's network. Robert Rodriguez's twin nieces Electra and Elisa Velen reprise their roles as Nurse Mona and Nurse Lisa. Marco Zara portrays Zara Mendez's enforcer, an expert in martial arts. William Sadler portrays Sheriff Dokes. Production On June 10, 2012, Rodriguez announced that principal photography for Machete Kills had begun. Principal photography took only 29 days, as shooting wrapped on July 28, 2012. The film was produced by Robert Rodriguez, as well as Aaron Kaufman and Ileana Nikolic, through their quickdraw productions. Sergei Bispalov of Aldemissa Films, Alexander Rodnansky of AR Films, and Rick Schwartz of Overnight Productions. Lindsay Lohan, who played April Booth in the first film, did not appear in this installment. Rodriguez said that he liked Lohan's character, but she didn't fit into the story. The film has Charlie Sheen credited under his birth name Carlos Estevez. Expected to be a one-time move, it was Sheen's idea to use his birth name for the film, due to the film's Hispanic theme. The trailer and opening credits for the film use an introducing tag when showing Sheen's birth name. On June 20, 2013, the film's release date was pushed back from September 13, 2013, to October 11, to avoid competition with Insidious Chapter 2. Promotion On October 9, 2013, Lady Gaga's Vivo released a lyric video for Aura, a song from her third studio album Art Pop, to promote the film. Reception Machete Kills was not well received by critics. Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a rating of 30%, based on 121 reviews, with the critical consensus while possessed with the same schlocky lunacy as its far superior predecessor. Machete Kills loses the first installment's spark in a less deftly assembled sequel. At Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating based on reviews from mainstream critics, the film has received a score of 41 out of 100 based on 33 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. Gaga was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Supporting Actress for her work in the film, but lost to Kim Kardashian for Temptation. Confessions of a Marriage Counselor. Possible Sequel At the end of the first film's theatrical version, two sequels are mentioned, Machete Kills and Machete Kills Again. The trailer for the third film titled, Machete Kills Again. Um, again. Um, it kills again. Um, the machete Kills Again. Um, again. Again. And again. 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 In Space precedes the second film as a coming attraction. In 2015, Trejo told Halloween Daily News that the third film is happening. Since then, nothing was announced about the movie.